Hello everybody, my name is Jens Brutton, and welcome back to Amnesia The Dark Descent. Last episode I got surprised by the fact that I was out of time, and so I had to end things quite abruptly. And then now, uh, I, hit, or I just solved this puzzle, I did not, uh, I just matched this side to this side by raising and lowering the metal weights, uh, whatever they are. And uh, I realized that uh, I was safe in here because yeah, if a monster shows up, I can just run through this area transition, and it can't follow me. And uh, there's not really many places it can jump me from here. So now, I'm going to go through this door, through this heavy gate, and I'm going to figure out what else needs to Wow, that, that raised quite quickly for a heavy gate. So now I think it's going to drop, but I think I can maybe block it with, uh, with boxes. Yeah. which will uh, hopefully make my life easier in the future. Yeah. And can I get one more box in there to like just jam it fully open? Is this even going to work? Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. So, raise that again. And come on, another box. Another box. I think it's a little too late. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, no. Don't go the wrong way. Come on, come on. Quicker. Oh, wow, that looks precarious. That looks very precarious. Oh. Can I maybe shove it with my body and lift this at the same time? Got it in place. What's that awful sound? Is that my having stuck the mechanism? Oh well. So now this is open and we can just go straight through. So that's nice. Hopefully it stays that way. There's another lever to open it there if I need to. But it's open for now. What's in here? Oh, I'm really nervous. I'm staying back where I can run into the previous room. Okay, there's some levers down there. And there's some levers down there. Down, up, up, down. And they're all the same. So I'm guessing that we need to adjust these levers to match the ones up there. Wooden crank. Okay. So we picked up a wooden crank. Oh, there's some under the stairs bit. I bet I'd be safe from a monster in here. I wonder if much is gonna ambush me when I go up through that door. Can I crawl into the safety area from here? No, I can't. Okay, so what was it? It was uh, it was down, up, up, down, down. My cursor up, up, down. No monster yet. Daniel? Huh? Is that you? What are you doing? Is he actually talking to us? Oh, it's st stuck in position. That's good. Oh, now it's working. So it wasn't actually working before. Okay. Am I safe? I doubt it. I doubt it very much. So, as always, I can still run through here. 
and I'll still be safe. I'm very jumpy. So let's look through this door. Okay. Now, I do remember this vaguely. I think we've got to go collect pipes that are scattered around here to fix this side of the wall. Matching it, I think, to that side. In a similar manner to what we've been doing. Oh, here's another here's another letter and another hiding hole. Oh, I'm reading this one. Uh Thirteenth of January, seventeen ninety-nine. Machine. The work I have put into this machine is unequaled by the reasoning of any man. The thought that generations of men have passed away since I first attempted to reconstruct the design was most tiring. Limitations of this world have made my work incredibly difficult. It has forced me to build the thing almost a hundred times larger than the delicate contraption it tries to emulate. Not to mention the flow of tamed lightning, crudely replaced by pressurized steam pushing its way through pipes and turbines. It shames me to think of what the inventor would have thought of my monster, where he works with a magnifying glass to carefully fix all the parts. I push five men to erect a tower of wrought iron in the hopes that it will have even the tiniest hint of power found in a, in a traveler's locket. Okay, so Alexander has some had some kind of device, traveler's locket, which must have allowed him to come from wherever he's from, because he did mention that he wants to go home, so he's not from here. The traveler's locket must be some kind of sophisticated technology, some kind of electronic device. And he is trying to replicate it in the pre-electronic era using just machinery, steam, turbines, gears. Interesting. It's got to be really hard to do. I mean, if you think about, well, if you look back at the uh, electromechanical computers in the early day of computing that were so big, uh, by comparison with modern small iPods and things, basically it sounds kind of similar. Like Alexander is trying to build an iPod with steam and turbines. Which I suppose actually you could theoretically do. But it would be a massive structure like this. I suppose since sound just forced air through pipes and tubes various types. You could do that, actually. Alright, so now we I think we have to match that side to this side. Or the other way around. Match this side to that side. So we put a pipe in there. And we put a pipe and yeah, no. Uh, maybe there. there. There is a cross pipe in the middle. And then up and down the pipe here. Maybe. Or, hmm. there's a vertical pipe here, and there's a couple of horizontal pipes. Um, maybe this pipe has to go here, and this pipe. I don't think that's correct. Wait, how else can I configure this? I have a limited number of options here. About, oh, there's a chest. About how I can configure this stuff. Oh, this isn't actually a chest I can get into. I have a limited number of options about how I can... How I can mess with this. So maybe that pipe's in the wrong spot. I think this big pipe might be key because 
how many places can it go, really? These little pipes, they can go all over the place, but not the big pipe. The big pipe is limited. So is there any other way that it can go in? Can it go sideways like that anywhere? Rotate it carefully. No. So I think the big pipe has to go there. Which is... I thought I heard something. Which is not really similar to the way this is over here. But there are... Well, actually, wait a minute. Yes, it is. Because this pipe... Oh! Oh, these pipes connect around. Oh, I see. Okay. So actually what I need is... A small one... Oh, order matters here. So I have to put the small one in the middle. Like that. Large one over top. Come on, I had it before. Or, or did I... Did I put it in the other order before? Hmm. Oh, oh, I see. These, these two small ones, I thought they were the same. They're not the same. One of them has an extending piece. Ah, okay. So I can put the big pipe, and I can put this small pipe with an extending piece over it, and then I can put this other pipe to the side. And I can't move them anymore. Right. So that worked. Now, I think that's everything, so I'm going to run out of here, because this place makes me really nervous. Entrance to Sister. Hopefully that's everything. The blue light blinded him, just as it had done inside that murky tomb in Algeria. It was just an enchanting... It was just as enchanting, and he tried to approach it, but the Baron's firm hand held him back. Okay, so now... I think we've powered the machine. Yes, we have. Great. But the bridge didn't come down all the way. So, the bridge is stuck and we'll need a push to dislodge. Now, I do also remember this. And I think, again, physics will save us. Because I think what we can do is we can throw a rock up. And then we can climb up the ladder to get the rock, and we can use the weight of rocks and things to, uh, to get the bridge down, I think. Or a singular rock will do. Okay. Okay. So now, the more. Wonderful. Just where I always wanted to go. The red taint burst from the walls as if they had begun to bleed. He cried out in fear as the spectacle began to consume the blue shimmer. Oh, this is eerie. Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. What? It has? For now. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. Oh yeah, there's a lot of dead men here. What? What happened? Why are all these dead... What am I? What's happening? Help! Anybody! Help! Three 
D-Day, you know. This is ridiculous. Why doesn't someone come to this room? Hey! Anybody! Am I all alone here? Help! Help! I'm so tired. If I sleep, I don't make this nightmare. If not, I pray my Heavenly Father will take me in my sleep. This is what we need from this room. Okay. So, laudanum. And a copper tube. Alright. The fine copper tube found in the morgue looks like a part of a surgical tool. Co a thin copper tube. And remember, we still have a strong surgical needle that we used when escaping the water monster to pick a lock. So, maybe we can combine them? Oh yeah, a syringe. A copper tube with an attached hollow needle. Brilliant. What what is that noise? Oh good, that noise is only in that row. Whatever it takes. Close the door behind me. Come along here, have a look. Okay. Here's a little hidey hole. Good. So many dead people here. Is there anything of use among all these dead people? Let's see what else. What else we have around here? There's a dead guy. Another dead guy. Laudanum. Tinderbox. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Oh, fill the uh, lantern back. Okay. Ooh. We have lots of oil. Vaccine trials. The vaccine enabling my men to work in the fungi-ridden sewer is a definite success. Unfortunately, only a few of the servants have been remedied, as the procedure proved difficult. The others will perish, and eventually I will need to create more of them to keep my experiments running. Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield long enough to pass through the sewers without any risk of infection. It will do fine for prisoner transport. So, vaccinated blood. Maybe... Um, a corpse. And, let's see. Here's an insight. Alexander's... I'm pretty sure that these these notes, the like, containers, are all insights into um, Alexander's life. I fear for Daniel, for he is reckless. He is tainted by the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this in the end? My love, I've seen evil in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? What cruel irony that I have to do unto him what Agrippa did unto me. Oh, great. So, Agrippa betrayed Alexander, so now Alexander is going to betray us in the same manner. Okay, there is no reason to be in here. Alright. So, uh, that's all the time I have for this part. So I'm just going to go to my little hidey hole here, and uh, and I'm going to call it for there. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.